thank you very much. This is probably one of the only places in which obsessive attention to detail is considered a virtue. <laughs> so, uh, the uh, uh, Frank Stephenson is uh, is first and foremost a, a, a great guy, and and is motivated by that same visceral uh, sense of flow and speed and motion that uh, that a lot of us who are here are motivated by. Fra Frank's here with his wife uh, Linda, his his mother. Uh, his brother Maria and his brother Raul and his wife who live in San Diego. And uh, last night in the presence of his family and many friends, Frank was honored by the Art Center with the Creative Spirit Award at the college's 80th uh, anniversary gala for his incredible accomplishment in the field of, uh, the field of automotive design. Frank was, has a has very multinational and transnational background. His, his father was a, uh, American Norwegian. Frank was born in Morocco. He lived in Malaga and went to high school uh, in in Madrid. His father was a uh, his father was an automobile dealer selling Saab Seats and Rovers in, uh, in in southern Spain, and engaged in racing and was a fanatic about about Alphas. Um, he made his way to the U.S. in the early 80s, attended the Art, College, Art Center, graduated in 86 with a degree in transportation design. Uh, the, after, after Frank spent 11 years at BMW, where he worked on the, the Mini, the BMW <coughs> X5, uh, and he's best known for the design of the Mini, Frank moved uh, to Ferrari, where I met him, and, uh, in July 2002, working on the extraordinary Maserati MC12, and the Ferrari uh, 430. He also oversaw Peter Frina's work on the uh, Maserati Quattro Porto and the, and the 612 Scaglietti. Uh, in February of 05, Frank was appointed head of Fiat Lancia and Commercial Vehicle Styling Center in Turin, Italy, and while he was there, he headed the styling of the Fiat Novo 500. Then in 2007, Frank was appointed the style chief of Alfa Romeo, and then after that, in 08, Frank became the styling director at the McLaren Automotive, heading a design team from McLaren's road car division. Frank and his uh, team are leading McLaren Automotive head-to-head -head with Ferrari, Lamborghini, and some other supercar powerhouses, and it's a daunting assignment. And uh, the new McLaren 12C, which we unveiled today, is an exciting example of what's to come from McLaren. Um, Frank is, is, is impassioned, and that's not that's uh, you know apparent when you meet him. When we were doing the uh, we're doing the uh, Miami Vice movie in, in 2004, we spent a lot of time together because I wanted to put the the 430 in the movie, and um, I was considering getting a 430 from for myself. Frank talked me out of it and instead talked me into the 599, which I got, and the, the, the GTO is, is up here. Um, the 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 I remember Frank, Frank said, I'm going to show you something, and he made sure nobody was looking, as if there were spies all over the Ferrari factory, which they very well maybe. <laughs> Frank took me into an alcove and showed me this drawing, which was the profile of the, of the 599, which was about a year and a half or two years before, before anybody else saw it. And so wait for this one, the, um, which I, I did. Uh, you know, the, the, the story of Frank, if you could sum it up, Frank's father told him that when he was young and first got interested in motorcycle racing and, uh, and going fast and working at his father's uh, you know, dealership, he told him that uh, if you're not the winner, then you're the first or the last. And that's the, uh, so please join me in welcoming the absolute winner, Frank Stephenson. Thanks everybody, thanks very much. Um, I guess you guys are the only people that are really dry today, so it's a pleasure to speak to some people about um, being here. Uh, <clears throat> this is a really, really great opportunity for me, um, very welcome opportunity. I, I came in uh, yesterday very, very early in the morning and uh, just last evening with uh, the people from Art Center that I remember from my earlier days. It was just a fa fantastic time to be able to. Uh, remember a lot of our uh, memories, recall our memories from the past. Uh, I really enjoyed that, uh, coming back to Art Centers. Uh, I've only been able to do it once before since I graduated in 86, but it was a real coming home feeling, and 
I can remember when I left Art Center uh, in 86, I never had the feeling that I was going to be coming back happily to Art Center because it was just like leaving a POW camp. <laughs> I, I, I can't stress enough the, 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 the level that they prepare you here. It just um, People must think it's really a joke or exaggerated, but you do come out of Art Center feeling like you've you know, won a medal in survival and uh, hopefully you're only addicted to coffee, as I was when I came out. Um, that's really what kept me going, it still keeps me going. But um, it's, it's been a real ride when I graduated. Uh, you know, it, it seems like yesterday, and it, I said earlier, it does feel like it was fiction, like it wasn't really a real story that happened in my life. It's a, a distant memory. But what a memory and, and what a trip I've, I've been lucky enough to have to, to get to where I am today and to be able to speak today. Um, it, it really is due to, you know, not just me, a lot of people have helped me get to where I'm at. Um, I've always had great people around me, a um, great, great team of people working with me. And um, just the determination and the passion and the, the courage, I think, that you learn, that they instill here into you when you're a student in the Art Center. It's what really helps you along the way.